It's Android Authority. We're live on the ground here at Mobile World Congress attending Pepcom's event. And we're going to take a closer look at the Galaxy Note 8, a device that was just announced today versus the, everyone's favorite 7-inch tablet with a pure Android experience, the Google Nexus 7. Now, not really the fairest comparison, as this only has a 7-inch display, whereas this has an 8-inch display. But you'll find actually that both contain a 1280 by 800 LCD display. So we're looking at a higher pixel count, actually a little bit, quite a bit higher, of 216 PPI on the Google Nexus 7 versus only 189 PPI on the Google Nexus 8. Now, in terms of the specs, pretty different. We're looking at a Tegra 3 here. Uh, it's obviously a quad-core A9. And on the Galaxy Note 8, we're looking at a ARM Cortex A9 Exynos clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Now, in terms of the weight, it's very, very comparable. For the Nexus 7, we're looking at 347 grams, and it's actually not really heavy at all. It's about three quarters of a pound. Whereas on the Google, or excuse me, the Galaxy Note 8, we're looking at 338 grams. So very, very comparable and a little bit lighter, actually, which is impressive considering it has a bigger battery and it actually has a larger display as well. Now, on the rear, we're not looking because this is only a $199 price tablet. And remember guys, this is really, really one of the best bang for buck seven inch tablets on the market. But it has no rear facing camera. But we all know what it's like to take pictures on the camera uh, on a tablet after all. But on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, we do actually have a five megapixel camera. You know, so maybe it's helpful for some situations, but I think most of us would opt to use our smartphone or an SLR instead. In terms of the battery, uh, we're looking at a 4,325 milliamp hour battery on the Google Nexus 7. Uh, whereas on the Galaxy Note 8, we're looking at a 4600 milliamp batter, battery. Now this particular variant that we're looking at here is kind of cool um, because it has an infrared blaster, it has S Pen obviously, and it also features an expandable memory slot and SIM. Now they've already told us that for North American markets, we're not going to be uh, having a launch for this particular model, but it will be available internationally. It will only be a Wi-Fi model that is released. And a special little friend named Jess from Samsung here just told me that the S Pen actually will work for the contextual menu here and the back button now. And you can physically press the home button if you so choose to do. So no word on pricing sadly, but I have a feeling uh, it's going to be priced competitively. Um, the performance is really, really good with TouchWiz. It's very, very fluid. Uh, they have incorporated a little bit more of an advanced version of, uh, with the S Pen. So we have a reading mode here, which they claim will alter uh, the contrast ratios and the vibrancy to make it really, really emulate uh, what it looks like to actually read a real book. Another thing too, uh, first for Android, they've included a Note, a Note HD, uh, an app that was really popular on iOS. Um, so for all you guys who like to make notes and uh, to use the S Pen, uh, this will actually be very, very productive for you. So, obviously, these are two heavyweights in the room here, guys. Let us know which one you think is better. We have the soon-to-be released on the international stage and in North America, the Galaxy Note 8 versus Google Nexus 7. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Let us know what you think of uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the Google Nexus 7, which one you think is better. And if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe. It's Android Authority. We're live here from Mobile World Congress, just checking out the Galaxy Note 8 versus the Google Nexus 7.